today I'm working in my Alice in Wonderland journal and we'll be making, among other things, this little flip up pad with serrated tear off pages plus two other tags. So we are definitely getting a move on with this unfinished project. The first one, this is how I made the first one. Um, and this is just a card. I have sanded it. I told you I'm all prepped today. I'm going to roughly just cut this in half because I don't need all of it and it's just going to be a bit excessive. And I mean, we could just wrap that round, couldn't we? Save, save all the faffing about. Right, so <laughs> hopefully I haven't cut that too short. <laughs> you know, when you think, oh, I'm allowed to just cut that off. Hopefully that's just big enough and I won't be able to use this on my sewing machine. I've tried to go through playing cards before on my sewing machine and it doesn't like it. So I will have to glue right up to the edges. But because I'm doing scrapbook paper, let me get a bit of glue book paper like maggots i'm just going to do this because i want it on the edge because i don't want it coming off but i also don't want it showing through my scrapbook paper so we're going to do this <laughs> before it dries come back everything's stuck to everything else already i'm going to pop this onto here and I do have a little card and I'm going to, in fact, I probably need that back again, don't I? There we go. We'll do this. This is just a really quick way to make a flip up book. And I know you've probably all done them before, but I want to get four pages done in this Alice book today. So I don't know how I've done. Because obviously I haven't made them yet. I'm showing you the end before I've got to the before I've got there. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see how good my prediction was. Whether I did four or whether I only managed three or whether we got a move on and did more than that. I don't know. We'll just have to wait for that buzzer to go off and see how we're doing. So I do hope that you are getting on with your unfinished projects. I know some of you are because I'm getting some lovely emails. Let me know. You can email me. I, I am quite happy for you to email me and let me know what's going on. Or just jot a note in the comments saying that you're still with me. You're still working on your list. It's all, it's all fun. We're going to make this little book. Now I've got a few bits of paper. Some of these are plain. Some of them are lined. Oh, no, they're lined on one side and plain on the other. How interesting. Obviously come out of some old book. So we're going to just... Um, do I want to cut... Yeah, because I, I have to cut it in half because we don't know where... Where's my card? We don't know how big we're doing them. How big are we doing them? Four inches. We're doing them four inches. So just slightly less than the card. So about there. Yeah. Yeah, because this is going to be dead accurate as normal. Not really. Not really worried if it's not. And this is how I'm going to measure the next bit. Just like this. Oh, I think I need that much off, roughly. And we'll use these again in something else. They're going to be quite long. I've got some more here. So, roughly. I like to have little notebooks in my journals that you can take out and play with. 
and then just pop back in again. It's another way of measuring, just do that. So I think that is going to be long enough for my book. Oops, I don't know what, oh, that was my magazine. Oops, upside down. <laughs> I must put a picture on the front as well. That's another thing I've got to do. So that is going to be the ideal height. So what height is it, you all ask? It is seven inches, I say. Everybody always asks me what height it is. It's whatever height you need for your book, basically. My book might be slightly different to yours. Okay, so sanded off the edges so they're all nice and smooth and rounded the corners because I like that. And this is the paper I've cut all like we saw, all to size. And I'm thinking it may be slightly too long, so I am going to take just a little bit off the bottom something like that see if i can do them all in one go should be fun oh Ooh, interesting little bits of paper i can use now <laughs> honestly i'll keep anything as you can see i'm actually being quite neat and tidy Nothing like my grungy journals, where I'm completely not neat and tidy. Oh no, I'm jamming my little thing, I don't know why. It, it, it went through that, and now it won't go through the paper. Okay. I'm just, oh, that's almost off. That's it, that'll do, there we go. Right, so those are going on there. But I thought what I'd make it is a little tear off um, pad. So I'm going to glue all these together at the top. Oops. <laughs> Don't need a lot of glue. Doesn't need to be all the way up. Just to hold them all together. Should have probably done that before I started cutting the edges. Um, that one. And obviously I've got this blue on the front as um, like a cover for my little notepad. It does match, sort of. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is I'm going to get my ruler and I've got my little pad that I use when I'm poking holes in the journals. And we're going to make a little perforated, um, what do you call it, tear off bit. Don't move. I'm trying to do these every quarter, I don't know, what is it, five mil? I didn't go quite right there. I'm going to do an extra, oops, oopsie, that should be a straight line. And then we're going to glue the bottom one just at the top onto there. I'll get my little pegs, my little decorated pegs. And we're going to just hold that down while we find a picture for the foot. Now, I've got a little box of... A box of goodies. <laughs> this is my little scrappy box. Now I do like this. The white rabbit. Um, I, don't, I think this is going to be a bit bulky. I don't know where she came from. I could put, these are like the really old ones. I don't think I can put both on. And I have some washi. I could put that along the top. And I've got little stamps. Ooh. I do have my stamps. Oh, look, there's teacups. Oh, I can put them on. <laughs> they just love it. What's this one? 
Ah, there's the cup of tea that we found that I was looking for. Well, amazing what you can find. Right, so I just need oh, reaching over, reaching over. So what do you think? Should we put this on and then maybe decorate it with, with the tea pot and maybe the cake? It looks like he's standing on the teapot. Maybe we just could put one. I don't know if I can fit both, but I'm quite happy I found it. I think, do you know, I think that would look lovely. I'm going to go for it. So that can be on there. Right, this should have dried. So we're going to take those off. And I'm just going to decorate the top. Because this is really cute. This has got like tea and it's got a cat. I just think it would look really pretty. You can put fabric. Oh, no, there's another cat there. I'm going to cut the cat off. No. <laughs> In fact, I could wrap that right round, couldn't I? I could. It looked funny on the other side. I just want to make sure they don't come off when you rip, you know, when you sort of tear off, tear off the paper. I think we'll be all right. I'm going to take that off. There we go. It's not going to be perfect. You know this. Let's stamp. Well, so far, <laughs> I haven't even done one. Oh, have you got all messy? Stay. Hold it for a minute. Let the ink transfer. Oh, nice. You can colour it in if you want. And I'm going to put the white rabbit down here. Now, he does, he, I think he needs something at the bottom, but I'm not quite sure. I'm not very good at this bit. So I'm just going to glue him down because I can always add some more stuff, but I'm, I am really wanting to do more pages <laughs> i don't think one page in 30 minutes is enough and again i'm just going to spread it out because i don't want to see all the glue if it comes out underneath And I might put a couple of words on there, like, you know, don't be late or something. Don't know. But we, we can finish the embellishing off afterwards. I'm just trying to get things done. So this will flip. This is like a little writing board. And I'm just going to post that down the back like that. So where's the snowbell is now sitting on my book. Come on. There you go. Now, you will have to move because we are doing a video. Come on. There you go. Thank you. Right. I think I've lost the page. I think she had. There it is. Honestly. <laughs> so I think I, I have got a couple of ready made tags. I know it's way cheating, but. I'm just, I've got this I've cut out of a magazine and just backed with some writing paper, which I thought I could maybe tuck up there. And the other one, which is this, what a curious feeling, says Alice, just cut out of the books. Can't put that in there. Oh, it's just back. Oh, honestly, backwards and forwards. Where are we going to, we could put that in there as well. I mean, we could save it for another, um, another, what do you call them? Signatures. Oh, or I could put it in there. Um, I did do this bit where this is just the back cover of one of the books. Yeah, I can put that in there. So 
this that we were looking at. Um, and, and I've also got this, which I've cut out. And I don't know what I was going to do with it, because... Yeah, I've sort of cut off half the words. But maybe... Maybe I could put it on there. Oh, do I... I don't trust myself doing that. I'm just going to cut... Cut? You know, cut. That off. And maybe... We can pop it on, or I could shall I put it on the front. Maybe I could back it and put it on the front. I've got fabric here. <laughs> I was going to use do this as a pocket. Mm, no, I don't like it. <laughs> I do quite like it on that. And I could find some more black and white images and put them on the other bits as well, maybe. And do you know what? Just for a change, I think I like it right in the middle. So we've done a few pages, which I'm super happy about. Because I never know how much I'm going to get done. And I, 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 am, I am doing it on my own as well as with you. Because... You know, there's there's so much to do. And sometimes I just feel like playing on my own. Oh no. Shock. I do have to do something with this plain white. I'm not keen on that. Okay, so the next page is this one and I need a tag for here. So I have this one of the Queen off with her head that I've already stuck onto some paper. So this one is going to be super quick. Because all I have to do is trim this up and then attach it with something. And I've got a, I've got these lines um, of holes that obviously I was planning to do. Maybe a, I don't know what I was planning to do, but I can't remember. But I know that a lot of my pictures have got these little holes in. So it's very strange. Now, this may be too small for that pocket, but I do have another pocket that I can put it into. So let's have a look. I didn't want all the holes in it. Is that too small for in there? I do have a pocket here. Oh, it could go in there. That'd be nice. That would be lovely. Right, you're going in there. See, easy to sew, easy to do. Um, we're going to round the corners because I like rounded corners. And I'm going to stitch around it. And I think all we need to do for this one is just attach some lace on there. Where's my lace gone, Snows? Have you seen it? It's okay. Don't you worry, I found it. Don't you worry. Don't worry, your little head. I have found it. Now, what about if we put like a ruffle down the edge? All the way down or just part the way down? I don't know. It goes all the way in, so we don't really want that. We will need it to stop. I think just part of it, maybe. Yep. So I'm going to pop a bit of glue on it just to hold it on there. And then I'm going to stitch all the way around, including, including this. Because I just didn't use fabric glue, I just used my paper glue then. So that will be in there. Cool, that was an easy peasy one. So that'll go off to the sewing machine. So we do have this one, which is quite large, to be honest. Um, 
What have I got? Well, that's too small. Where's my little book? What have we got in here? Oh, I know what I've got. I've got this page, haven't I? These things in here. I've got teacups. That would be handy. And I've got that one. <laughs> so much stuff. <laughs> really, we could do with some more sort of tea time stuff, couldn't we? Nothing in there. You could stamp time for tea or something on there. Don't put that in there or lose it. I'm gonna I thought I was organized, but maybe not. How about this? Somehow. Let's see what we can do. So how big is my pocket? Quite big, quite big. Does it go all the way? It goes to there, to there. Oh my goodness, that's quite a big pocket. Okay. So we need to trim about that much. And I don't trust, like I said, don't trust my um, cutting skills. Could get my cutter out, but you know let's see how tall we need this perfect fit nice big tag and up to about there well shame we've got to cut the lace off but then i will put something else on there so there we go so let's chop that bit off and it's quite a deep pocket because I obviously, when I put the pocket on, made sure... Oh, no! Look, now I didn't even cut that. It's going to be slightly shorter. Slightly shorter. There's a blooper for you. <laughs> Oopsie. And I make it slightly more narrow as well because... It's a bit of a tight squeeze. And there's no point in struggling. So, we're in. We just go decorate it up. Rounded corners just always look so much nicer, I think. like that colour on there. So we're going to try this. So I think I cut him out um, with his black outline. I'm going to have to, I think. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe not. Because some of him has got a, a very black outline. It's obviously from some sort of magazine that I've used. And this bit is like all black. And he's holding that up. But we can make that say something else if we want. Because I don't remember him saying that in the story. at the edge of the page because he's 
hopefully this doesn't look too silly. Something like that. I can't really see where where his feet end. He's sort of gone off the page. So I think if we put him on there, I've still got the that doesn't even make sense. Probably because we need the other half. It was something about Christmas. So what we'll do is we'll put our own on there. And I do have this, it says through the looking glass. I don't know if that would work. Because he's definitely got to be holding something. Or he could just be holding a cup of tea. Hello, Snows. And that would help me to cut round his face a bit better as well. Yeah, I think that only makes sense in the context that it's actually part of right so if we had a cup which I'm bound to, I'm bound to have I'm going to stick him down because I think that looks cool on there and as you can see I'm only using stuff from moustache that I've been saving this is just stuff I've collected over the last two years, guys, two years, I've got so much. I think I'm going to have to do another one, but not just yet. I think I'm doing really well getting one done. I'm going to sort of put him there because he's sort of, that's how he is on the magazine. I know he looks like he's saying something. Right, so he does have a cup in this hand. What did he have in the other one? A sandwich, wasn't it? I do have these little stickers. Keep calm and drink tea. He could have a tray. I have used some of these already. And the pile of cakes is going to be too big. Like that one or oh there's one with hearts on that would make sense wouldn't it should we put this one on too small we need something bigger um i could cut out a picture i do like keep calm and drink tea should we just put that one on because it's funny <laughs> yeah i think so <laughs> that does make me smile right so you're going in there oh we need something on the top we need something to pull our tag out in and out with a bit of lace you should put a bit of lace on it's a bit floppy isn't it um la 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 I keep trying to use that. I will use it. I can always add. I can always add that after. Let's let's see how we're doing. But while I've got your attention, I would like to remind you that I do have memberships available on my channel. And you can join by just pressing the join button underneath by the subscribe button and it will take you to the page where you can see what all the offers are and if you fancy it join this is the sort of thing i do and this was a page i did on on my own 
still got to put some stuff in there just a little embossed envelope and then the weight of that keeps that page down and we did together on this one so yeah that is it for this week guys thank you for joining me i hope you managed to get some of your unfinished projects done and i will see you all very soon next week obviously sunday afternoon we'll be doing another unfinished project but i'm hoping to get a video up during the week as well so look out for that bye for now